All right, another day, another video card review. This time it's the GTX 1660 from NVIDIA. Embargo just lifted. Do we really have to do a dedicated video on this card? Don't we already kind of know where this is gonna fall? I mean, come on, I've got better things to do with my time. If only there was someone with nothing better to do than to shoot this stupid video for me. <laughs> I mean, that would be really great. If only I could find someone. Hey, honey. All right, so we're gonna check out the new NVIDIA card, the 1660, 1660. <laughs> this is MSI's card, it's the Gaming X. <laughs> okay, this specific model is selling for 249, but NVIDIA's MSRP is 219, so you can get it for a little bit cheaper. It has the twin Frozer 7 thermal design. Uh, whatever that means. It's designed with the new Torx Fan 3.0, which gives you low temperatures and a stable performance. It also has a new heat sink, which is optimized for efficient heat dissipation, which again, keeps your temperatures low. And it also has the Mystic Light RGB. Awesome. That's all I really see on the back of the box, so let's open it. This is for, but it says gaming is my life, and then it says eat, sleep, game, and repeat. It sounds horrible. Ah. All right, here it is, guys. Looking pretty good. Pretty good. So my first impressions of this card seems like a pretty, pretty sturdy card. It has good weight to it. The plastic is pretty good quality too. Like sometimes when you get a new product and it's made of plastic, it can seem pretty cheap, but this actually seems pretty nice. I like the brushed metal on the back. That's pretty nice. Oh, Kyle always points this out. It has one eight pin thing right here. All right, now that we knew what this card looks like, let's go over the specs. Help me, Kyle. What does this mean? All right, um, looking at the GTX 1660 column here, the architecture and model is 14 nanometers. Turing T116. The base clock is 1530 megahertz. The boost clock is 1785 megahertz. The memory size is six gigabytes GDDR5. The memory bus width is 192 bits. What does this W stand for right here? The TDP 120 W. Don't know what that means. Before I forget, Ka has a little note here on the prices. At the time of filming, these are the lowest prices that Kyle could find on Amazon and Newegg. All right, so today's uh, test, test bed system is featuring an AMD Ryzen 7 2700X, 4.0 gigahertz OC, an MSI X470 Gaming M7 AC motherboard, and a 16 gigabyte G Skill Flare X DDR4 3200 for the memory, and a bunch of other things that we're not gonna go over. And the video cards that we're testing today are the MSI GTX 1660 Gaming X 6 gigabyte, the MSI GTX 1660 Ti Gaming X 6 gigabytes, the MSI GTX 1060 Gaming X 6 gigabytes. Man, this is a mouthful. And the Power Color RX 580 Red Devil 8 gigabyte, and then the XFX RX 590 Fat Boy. Eight gigabyte. All right, let's see what the results are. All right, so the first game that Kyle tested was Ashes of Singularity. And if we go straight to the GTX 1660, looks like it's it did pretty well compared to the other cards that he tested. Not as good as the GTX uh, 1660 Ti, but not far behind. 
So, so far based on what I'm looking at right now, it looks like the GTX 1660 is doing pretty good. Um, but let's look at the other games that Kyle tested. Next one is Battlefield 1. Um, again, the GTX 1660 is doing pretty well. Still looks like the, the 1660 beats out the RX 590. So again, it looks like the GTX 1660 Ti is outperforming all the other cards, but it's also the most uh, expensive card um, at 279. So let's take a look at the third test that Kyle did, which was with the GTA 5. Uh, surprisingly, it looks like the AMD RX 590 is falling pretty far behind the GTX uh, 1660. So there is a bit of a difference there. All right, let's look at the Metro Last Light test that Kyle ran. Wow, the GTX 1660 Ti hit 111 um, frames per second as the average. The GTX 1660 only hit 97, but then the RX 590 hit 87. So there's a pretty big difference there between uh, those cards. All right, and it looks like Kyle only ran averages uh, for this last test for uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Again, the, the GTX 1660 looks like it's pretty up there. The TI is obviously outperforming all these cards. Again, the AMD cards just aren't really up to par with the GTX 1660. So, all right, let's look at the averages of all of these cards. Kyle put some like little notes here. It looks like the 1660 was 10% slower than the GTX 1660 Ti, but it's also cheaper. So, you know, that's pretty good. It looks like the GTX 1660 was faster though, 8.4% faster than the RX 590. So if I were to have to choose between these two cards, I probably would choose the GTX 1660 just based on performance and price alone. And then if you compare the, the GTX 1660 to the GTX 1060, the 1660 was 12.8% 12 faster. Now taking a look at the RX 580, um, the GTX 1660 was 16.3% faster. The RX 580 has a price point of 199. And if we look at that price point, Point and how it performed, I would say that this card, the RX 580, would have to be significantly cheaper to consider it just based on the price and the performance of the GTX 1660. It was it was just a lot better. So, you know, in, in conclusion to this, I would say the GTX 1660 is a pretty good card. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. <laughs> And there you have it, folks. That's the end of this video. Like be sauce, attempting to do an overview and read off benchmarks. How did I do? Anyways, we're gonna end it here, guys. If you liked this video, go ahead and toss a like. What does Kyle always say at the end of his videos? Subscribe. Subscribe to our channel, please, if you have not done so already. And make sure you leave a note in the comments that you never want me to do an overview or review again, because I'm just not as good as Kyle. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.